Hello again here, it's Jimmy at O'Reilly's Mobile Mechanics. Come to look at a Mercedes Sprinter here, it's not starting. So I've done a few checks already before I started, I've just tested the pressure on the DPF because it is showing a DPF fault. Uh, but the pressure is not high enough to stop it starting. So we'll have a look at a few other things. I think we're looking at the fuel pressure now. Okay, so we're inside the van. We're going to try cranking her over while we're looking at some live data. So I'm trying to look at the fuel rail pressure there. So there's no fuel rail pressure at all, it's on zero. So I'm going to crank the engine while I'm opening the fuel pressure uh, pipe there. See if we're going to get any fuel coming up. There's no fuel at all. So I've opened a few lines, we're going to try the low pressure fuel, see we're getting fuel up. No. So I'm looking in the fuse panel here, under the glove box, I found a fuse that is blown, just here, for the fuel pump. Now putting that back in doesn't mean the problem is going to be fixed, but Temporarily, it will work if we put that back in fuse number six there, the blue fuse. Now the vehicle should start. Right, we're back inside. Let's give it a couple of ignition cycles. Just so the fuel pump can actually push some fuel back in. Let's see if it will start. And back on live data there, boom, we have the fuel pressure back where it should be, 200 to 300 is on 250 there. Now we're just going back and we're going into the trouble codes. Sorry, there's a lot of glare on the screen. Let's try to get that to focus. So you can see there, some of the codes that we have are for a blocked DPF filter. Then we've got intake, air mass flow, inlet manifold. Yeah, just some of these. These are so, some of these that I've I've um I've unplugged when I was just having a look around in the engine bay. So the air mass meter and uh, uh so this is one of the faults there. The vehicle does not start. Uh, P zero A zero F ninety two, and the P double O eight seven double O. That was one of the codes that was there. So these two, we can disregard because that's the plugs that I've unplugged and then you got the P246309 for the particle filter. So just erase the codes there. Now re, re uh, scan of the codes we have got still got the P2463 so I don't know what's going on with the screen. Just let me try and get that sort of clear. There you go. So the particle filter uh, pressure is too high basically and it's got a flashing uh, engine management light there but uh, we're not going to fix that right now because he's got a a more um, he's got a more important issue that he needs sorting out first which is probably going to be this fuel pump uh, but it's going to take a few days for me to order one now the van is working at the minute but uh, it's going to be a little bit you know a little bit risky driving it around because usually the, fu the fuse goes on the fuel pump because the pressure of the fuel pump is getting too hot and it's it's probably going to blow the fuse again pretty soon. Okay, so on the Sprinter we have put a fuse in the fuel pump just to get the vehicle running for now. Um, I've given them a couple of spare fuses to bring around with them because uh, it's a two day wait on a fuel pump. We're going to order a fuel pump and in the meantime I'm just going to drive it around and see if the fuse blows or not. Sometimes it depends. Fords usually do this a lot. Um, the fuel, fuel, fuel pump fuse will blow. You put a new one in, sometimes they can last a week, sometimes they can last five minutes. Um, but 
gave him two or three spare fuses. He's going to drive it around for a couple of days while I'm waiting on delivery of the fuel pump. Then we can come back and fit it. Once the fuel pump's fitted, then we can concentrate on the DPF. So that'll do for now on this one, and we'll see you on the next videos.